the parents of two-year-old Najmo Abdukadir began to suspect something was seriously wrong when she started suffering from a fever and refusing all food. She also had trouble moving her leg. After a week, they took her to the maternal and child health clinic close to their home in Mogadishu. And it turned out this was no ordinary fever. Najmo was subsequently diagnosed with the wild polio virus, the first such case in Somalia for over six years. Her mother tries to put on a brave face. In fact, while the doctors could help bring down the fever, there's no cure for polio, and it can cause permanent paralysis, usually of the legs, and even death. Polio is highly infectious. Najmo's diagnosis came in May, and there are now several other cases confirmed. Every child who hasn't been properly vaccinated against polio is at risk, and there are many Somali children who haven't been vaccinated. It's a risk not only to children here, but also to those in neighbouring countries. The authorities in South Central, Puntland and Somaliland have all moved quickly to organise vaccination campaigns. As soon as Najmo's polio was confirmed, an emergency polio immunisation campaign was carried out in all 16 districts of Mogadishu. Teams of workers armed with vaccines target every single child, walking from house to house and inside the camps for the internally displaced, vaccinating more than 350 children under the age of five. Mulki Mohammed, the mother of eight children, lives in a camp for the displaced in Hothan district in South Mogadishu. She brought her one-year-old daughter, Nasteha, to be vaccinated against polio. The polio virus is quickly transmitted through water or food contaminated with feces from an infected person. The polio vaccine, which is just a few drops in the mouth, is safe, effective and strong. Children should be vaccinated several times to ensure they're protected for life. The vaccination campaigns in South Central, Puntland and Somaliland will continue each month and cover all the under fives and, in some areas, older children and adults. Similar outbreaks have happened before. If everyone works together to make sure all parents are informed and all children are immunised, this outbreak can be beaten again.